Primrose Lord from Fine and Country and you join me in Walford on Avon, just four miles from Stratford itself. This is a thriving village which offers an abundance of amenities from an 18 hole golf course to three pubs, one of which the Bell Inn, which is award winning, offering great food and a lovely garden to sit in. There is also a village shop which offers a post office, a deli, a butcher's and even a boutique shop. So here we are on Welford High Street and I am thrilled to share with you this fantastic three storey property that has been designed carefully around modern living. So let's go and meet the team behind this fantastic development. So um, do you want to tell us a little bit about the project and your role? Hi Rose, I'm the uh, site manager for the project. I deal with technical design and coordinating the build. Uh, this is Akoya, would you like to take a look around? Absolutely. So we've just entered in through the internal garage door. This is the entrance way here, the, the primary entrance. We've got a covered porch under, underneath the front door. And as we enter in through the front door here, we come into this two-storey atrium space. Over here, there's gonna be internal oak and glass partitions, which lead through into the dining and kitchen room. And right here, we're gonna have a snug space. So over here is where you'll have sofas, TV area over here. Uh, there'll be a kitchen island with a kitchen running around there. It'll be a really functional entertainment, yeah. open plan family space. A lot of entertaining will be done around this area of the house. Brilliant. So we see sort of a dining table in this area here. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, and the island will be in the middle of the room. Yeah, the yeah. island's located just over here. As you can see, we've got the waste and the uh, first fix water feed into there. There'll be a sink with a cooker, hot boiling tap in there. Okay. Um, over here, there's gonna be the ever hot oven. So it's a completely electric, very similar to an Arga. Yes, and an induction hob too. Yeah, induction over the top. Yeah, like I say, it's completely electric, so no gas. There's no gas in the village of Welford anyway, so. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay, so let's go and look at the plant room. Sure, so as we go through the entrance hallway, we come to the plant room here. As you can see, it has an underfloor heating manifold, which is driven by the uh, air source heating system located on the outside with a uh, hot water tanks and booster kits located inside. So the air source heat pump generates heat, feeds it into the hot water tank where the booster kit uh, takes it up to the required temperature and then it's fed through the manifold through the ground floor, underfloor heating system, up to the first floor where there's also a manifold and then onto the second floor where again there's another manifold there for full control. Brilliant, so it's going to have a fantastic energy rating then. This absolutely, property. absolutely and each zone within the ground first and second floor will be controllable uh, so you can have a, a hotter sitting room, a cooler bedroom um, and then some of the other bedrooms can be any temperature that the, the occupants want. It's a real smart technology to, to control the temperature of the property. Brilliant. Uh, should we go on through? Yes, so wonderful. As we pass here, you'll see the zone where the staircase goes. Uh, the staircase is going to be really open in design. Uh, there's going to be plenty of natural light coming in from the first floor window, from the ground floor window. Uh, there's going to be open treads to the staircase, lighting up there, oak construction. And they're going to be lit? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's going to be lights, um, sort of spotlights in the string of the staircase uh, going up. Really look yeah. beautiful at night, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, really high end, really high end, nice design. Shall we continue the tour through to, to the rest of the ground floor? Sure. So through here, we've got a boot room leading through to a ground floor shower room, toilet accessible to the garden. So if you've got a party or something like that, yeah. people could come around, easy access to the toilet without walking through the rest of the ground Absolutely. floor. Absolutely, and, and the cold and hot water tap outside is going to be a, Absolutely. a great Absolutely, yeah, that'll well, be really it? nice, yeah. yeah. What yeah. a luxury after a yeah. <laughs> So as we come through here, we come into the living room. Again, very similar to the kitchen space, it's got two flush threshold sliding door systems. So these are powder coated aluminium white. And they're IQ windows. Yeah, these were installed, uh, designed and installed by IQ. Fantastic company based in Amersham. Really happy to work with them. Yeah, definitely and use I've them again. And on Grand Designs. Yes, definitely, definitely. So the flush threshold system has um, an external slot drain 
uh, which uh, like I say is flush with the patio so you'll get that really great link between indoor and outdoor living space great for barbecues parties okay. really links the space crossways to the kitchen as well yeah so there'll be a terrace out here as yeah. well for yeah. providing a fantastic entertaining space absolutely Brilliant. absolutely so over here we've got a bioethanol fire going into a, a, a built-out media wall as you can see here here's the 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 components of the bioethanol fire kit which is going to be installed in a, in a in a media wall unit here tv high level on the wall and then a bioethanol fire here this is going to make a really fantastic cosy room but yet still having that formality of an entertaining space which is lovely so we've left scott downstairs and we're now joined by catherine the developer of this property hi rose hi there catherine so do you want to talk me through this floor and yeah. where we are at the moment this is the first floor so you will have come up from the hallway up the uh, staircase, bespoke staircase in American white oak, yeah. onto this lovely landing which is gives a, a, a nice feel of space. And the lovely light that's coming through there from the window. Yeah, it's light and spacious and we move, it's got a nice flow. We move into the master suite which is en suite immediately to the left with a lovely shower, sun tunnel, and all the other sanitary wear you would expect. So this has got double sinks in here? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Brilliant, and a really sophisticated toilet. Yes, <laughs> a, a bidet and a toilet in one. Wow, fantastic. Um, big room with lovely uh, sliding windows that give a nice view to the room, but also lead us onto the balcony. Uh, which means we can overlook the garden, absorb the sunshine, yeah, sit out here for breakfast. Yeah. Immediately to the right is a dressing room, but we could have had this as bedroom three, yes. but we are fitting it out as a dressing room because I think a master bedroom of this calibre needs a dressing room really. So we it's move a fantastic into, space, isn't it? Yeah, we move into the dressing room and it, this will be purpose fitted out with handmade units with yeah. storage along all the walls with a dressing table area and with a safe in it okay. too. We go back onto the landing where we come out immediately to the galleried atrium which we'll talk about in a moment but first of all we're in bedroom two which is a large room it's just so light and airy in here, isn't it? It's yeah. got a lovely impression from the windows. Yeah, these windows are wooden windows, sash windows that were purpose-made. They go with the style of the fascia of the outside of the house, which has to be more traditional because it's got a high street position within the village. Lovely big room, suitable for older children or guests or grandma if she comes to stop a lot. And an ensuite again with a nice sun tunnel, shower, etc. So somebody's got privacy if they're using this room. Brilliant. Back onto the landing and into bedroom three. Again, a good sized double room. Nice and airy again, nice and light with access to the galleried atrium. So you could have a chair or a chaise or books or yeah. plants, whatever yeah. you want. The spindles are actually chrome with uh, wooden twisted newels and that again will give off a, a bit of a sheen, a bit of a shine. Yeah. Nice feature. Yeah, but what a great place to just sit and wait for your guests to arrive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> so for the finale on the first floor, we have the family bathroom, which is quite a big bathroom. Big shower, lovely freestanding Paris bath, which is black on the outside, white on the inside. Freestanding taps. Be very nice for anybody to use this bathroom and lay in that bath. Big spacious area. Great place to relax at night. Yeah, very nice. And then we go on to the second floor. So Rose, this is the second floor. We've got two huge rooms up here and a beautiful bathroom. So 
the owner of this house can use this space however they wish it's very versatile you could have this floor as bedrooms media room games area yeah. alternative master suite yeah. because it's very big there's two massive rooms so it's a very nice space but we've left it open and fluid so that whoever purchases the house can really make the property work for them and make the space in the house work for them on a personal level. Yeah, brilliant. And there's going to be storage all the way around the edge yes. of the... Yes, so you can so. put things such as suitcases or shoe boxes or Christmas tree things and decorations in there and it'll be all neatly away. Neatly packaged away. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> so do you want to show me through to yeah. the bathroom? Again, a good size. Have a lovely shower, lovely conical basin. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's very unusual, so quite funky. Um, very nice bathroom, again, nice light coming in with the sun tunnel. And into the other room, the other half of this floor, a lovely long room which you could partition off if you so wished. You could yeah. have an office area, a storage area a bedroom, it's really quite a big space, yeah. front to back. It is, and even down here could be built in wardrobes if somebody... Exactly, so it could really be tailored to however people want it to work for them. And I think in a house of this size, when there is a lot of space, it's really important that people have a bit of flexibility to make it very unique for them. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Catherine, for giving us a wonderful tour of this property. My pleasure, Rose, thank you. It's been a really great insight and it shows that the property is great for families and also for those that really like entertaining. It is, thank you. Well, if you would like further information about the property or to arrange an exclusive viewing, then please do get in touch on the details that follow.